If you ever need to add an organization chart to a PowerPoint slide, then don't do it the slow way by adding the individual shapes. I'm going to show you a really quick tip which will allow you to get your organization chart done and finished in just a couple of minutes. So if that sounds like something that you want to know about, then you know what to do. Keep watching this video. Now, the way that I see most people attempting to create some kind of organization chart is in general, they'll jump up to insert, they'll go into shapes, they'll grab their little rectangle tool, they'll draw a box here, and then they'll start right clicking and adding text. So we might have the CEO at the top of the hierarchy, and then they might decide to duplicate the shape, control D, drag one underneath here, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. Now, this is a very slow manual way of doing things. We can do this a lot quicker simply by utilizing SmartUp. So if we take a look at the second slide, what I've done here is I've just inserted a text box and I've typed out the structure of my organization chart. And you can see that we've got the CEO at the top of the list. I've then pressed the tab key because the marketing director is directly underneath the CEO, the head of marketing is underneath the marketing director, and the marketing assistant is underneath the head of marketing. And each time we've gone down a level, I've tabbed across just to create that structure. We then go to the sales director, who's effectively on the same level as the marketing director, and they both work underneath the CEO. So I've typed out my hierarchy, first of all, just simply into a text box using the tab key to indent the various different levels. Now, once I have this, I can literally create an organization chart in one click. So with the text box selected, we're going to go up to the home ribbon. In the paragraph group, we have convert to smart art. And smart art, if you've never used it before, is just a way of creating diagrams and process flowcharts, hierarchy diagrams, things like that in your PowerPoint presentations. So now what I can do is I can see here I have the organization chart. I can simply click on it and check it out. It builds that organization chart for me. So this has made things so much quicker and easier. And of course, if we need to make changes, these are simply text boxes. We can go in and we can change the text. We can do things like change the color simply by using the drop down up here. And remember, these colors are based off of the theme that you're using. So if you don't like these colors, you could change the theme. But of course, we can change individual colors as well. So if I want to change the color of the CEO, I can jump up to format and I can just simply use shape fill and change that to something else. So you can edit the individual elements as well. And this doesn't just work for organization diagrams. If you're trying to create something like a process flow chart, you could use the same method. You can simply type it into a text box and then convert it to the relevant piece of smart art and make any changes as required. But I think you'll agree that is a hell of a lot quicker than going in and adding those manual shapes. If you like this video, if you learned something new, then smash that old like button, give me a little follow, and I will see you in the next video.